that's what's more fun for me. I spent most of my life as a man. For more than 20 years, the bubbly and gorgeous Christina Applegate has kept audiences laughing with her hysterical performances and endearing characters. As a teenager, she lit up the screen playing the ditzy Kelly Bundy in the very successful sitcom Married With Children. And after 11 seasons, she made the difficult transition from the small screen to the big screen look easy. Christina was born into the showbiz world. Her mother, Nancy Pretty, was an actress and her father, Robert Applegate, a record producer. Applegate's parents split soon after her birth, but spending so much time in film studios inspired her to become an actress herself. At only 10, she starred with her mum in the B-grade horror flick, Jaws of Satan. Not only was Christina growing up in Hollywood, she was also embedded in the music industry. Her mum dated Stephen Stills from the band Crosby, Stills and Nash, so Christina spent plenty of time backstage and on the road. Well, something that a lot of people don't know is that I grew up on their stage. So since I was born, I've been on tour with them and on their stages. My mother was a really, really close friend of Stephen, so I've been in this family for a very long time. But it was her role as superficial blonde party girl Kelly Bundy on the TV series Married With Children that made her a bona fide teen star around the world. Debuting in 1987 and set in the suburbs of Chicago, the naughty and hilarious sitcom revolved around the dysfunctional Bundy family and showcased Christina's knack for comedic acting. After Married With Children's 10-year run finished, her TV presence strengthened when she scored her own sitcom, Jessie. Inspired by her own mother, she played a single mother balancing work and family. Jessie broke her teenage girl stereotype and matured Christina as an actress, but luckily she didn't lose her funnies. At the 1999 People's Choice Awards, Jessie won the best new television comedy series and Christina was honoured as favourite female performer. Well, first and foremost, it's been absolutely amazing working with these people standing up here. Um, they brighten my life, they, they make me smile, and they make me laugh. So first and foremost, that's been the greatest gift. Um, and then for the hard work that we do to have this, is just it's an added bonus and it feels really, really, really nice. But Christina wasn't just a TV actress. Determined to prove she could play more than a blonde bimbo, in between her TV work, she pursued film roles that would showcase her versatility. But a big break came in 2002 when Applegate starred alongside Cameron Diaz and Selma Blair in The Sweetest Thing. This movie displayed her talents as a supporting character and made her a go-to girl in the rom-com world. Then, in Going the Distance, Christina strengthened her hilarious reputation and won over her co-star, Drew Barrymore. I think you're always working with someone really fantastic when you are dying to give them the floor because you see what they're bringing and it's so good and funny and amazing and you're like how can I get out of your way to make you funnier or how can I be on my best game to give you stuff to work with and we had a great dynamic of sometimes I was literally like I'm serving it up to you to do your thing and other times we had a great banter back and forth we were both it's not um, all the time that girls uh, get to uh, do that sort of sharp comedy that guys get to do and her and I like to throw down like that um, we sort of have the dude gene, uh, and uh, so I really loved working with her. She was totally inspiring and made me laugh all the time. Her strongest and highest profile performance came as a leading lady in the smash hit Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy. Co-written by Will Ferrell, Anchorman takes a tongue-in-cheek look at the news media culture of the 1970s. Applegate played Victoria Corningstone, a competitive news anchor trying to succeed in a male-dominated chauvinistic workplace. She is also the love interest of news anchor Ron Burgundy, played by, yes, the hilarious Will Ferrell. Ferrell thought Christina was perfect for the role, and Christina was really impressed by the hilarious script. According to Christina, it's not easy to make her laugh. She really is kind of a pro in that direct. Plus, she, she just had the look and the confidence and all those kind of intangibles that this character kind of has to have and uh, she almost has to be as much a predator as these guys are uh, while at the same time still 
being a woman and still feeling sensitive to those things. I'm a really tough critic. I'm probably the toughest of all. I don't think anything's funny, so if it makes me laugh, then I know that it's got to be really good. <laughs> it's got to be really funny. So um, this script just, it was it's really just hysterical, and I could see Will doing this, and that's really what appealed to me. Christina has continued to choose funny scripts, recently taking on the Farrelly Brothers comedy Hall Pass. In the film, she plays the wife of Jason Sudeikis, and the couple are good friends with another husband and wife pair, played by Owen Wilson and Jenna Fisher. Both couples' marriages are getting a bit stale, so the wives grant their husbands a hall pass, a week off their marriage where they can do anything they want. As you can imagine, things get out of control, and the random comedic script suited Applegate perfectly. Producer Bradley Thomas was very impressed by Christina's work. I'm in awe of Christina Applegate. You know, you, you, you sit there and you watch her do her scenes, and she's just unbelievably funny and an extremely talented actress, and we've been wanting to work with her for a very long time. So when he came in the room, I did something I've never done before. I pretended to be asleep. <laughs> You're kidding. You've never done that? Oh, come on. Oh, I do that all the time. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's our job as women. In the hours between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m., we just fake everything. In 2009, she added another string to her bow, lending her voice to the animated squeakle of chipmunks. A big fan of the first movie, Christina was excited to voice the female chipmunk, Brittany. Ready? We made it, girls! Los Angeles! I can't believe we're really here! Loving the animation process, the following year Christina voiced another kid's film, Cats and Dogs, The Revenge of Kitty Galore, and she admitted to sometimes feeling a little silly when recording her vocals. I'm sure we all look so ridiculous doing this because, you know, if you're doing a running scene, I always will, you know, I run in place, or if, um, you know, I'm getting hit, then you have to, you have to make that, that, that sound sound like that's happening to your character, so you kind of have to do these strange motions to, to, to make that work. There was a whole like half hour where I had to do just the sound effects of the voice, you know, of like when she, you know, falls or when she got hit or when she's flying. And it was just the most awkward thing I've ever done in my life. Because it was a lot of like, oh, ah, oh, you know, it's just, you feel so strange doing it. On screen, Christina was laughing, yet behind the scenes, she was fighting the biggest battle of her life. At only 36, she was diagnosed with aggressive breast cancer. As the daughter of a breast cancer survivor, she had been vigilant about getting regular mammograms. Early detection helped her avoid chemotherapy, but she was faced with the terrible decision of either radiation treatment or a double mastectomy. Christina decided to have the surgery, and although physically and emotionally painful, she has no regrets. At first, Christina had kept her cancer diagnosis private, but as the treatment progressed, decided to go public to raise awareness of the importance of early detection. All her good work culminated when she was honoured at the EIF's Women's Cancer Benefit Evening in front of her family and friends. I stand here tonight I, knowing that I'm, I'm fortunate that I had the right information to make a life-saving decision for myself. Um, my amazing mother, who's here tonight, who's a breast and ovarian cancer survivor. Um, hey, Mommy. Raise your hand, Mom. Mom, raise your hand. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right? There she is. I think Christina Applegate's incredibly brave and incredibly funny and wonderful and is such a role model to all uh, women because she took an unbelievably difficult situation and, and, and decided to be very selfless about it. And because she spoke out, she's helping millions of women around the world. So I think she's absolutely incredible. The bubbly blonde Christina Applegate has forged a long and successful career in Hollywood. She first hit the big time and entered our living rooms as the ditzy Kelly Bundy in Married With Children and continued to make us laugh on the small screen and the big screen alike. And with more roles in the pipeline and working as a breast cancer ambassador, the future looks bright for this brave beauty. Stay tuned to Star Picks for all of the movies you know and the actors you love. Broadcasting glorious high definition with 5.1 surround sound where available. For more of the best in entertainment news, check out your movie network channels. Find or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and MNC.TV.